Oh, hi everyone. Um, sorry for a bit of an absence, but it is us say that they're infrequent videos. Um, I've been working, let me see if I can find it, on this little 170 second scale Tamiya MU109 G6. You've seen some of the build on the video. I apologise for not covering the painting, but a few issues, which I'll go into in a minute. I'd just like to say this is an absolutely wonderful kit. It's gone together, absolutely no filler on it at all. Um, which is quite incredible, really. Um, I sprayed the underside using Vallejo's RLM 76. Uh, the stripe on the, on the fuselage, it needs a bit of touch, I just noticed, was a mix of two Tamiya colours, um, which escapes me. Have I got the instructions here? No, bear with me for two seconds. And I'm back. Sorry about that, that was sitting over on the chair. Um, where am I really going with this? Really, it's down to colours. Um, as I say, they're all a mix, they're all Tamiya colours, so the top half, I can't remember which is which on here. Um, one's a mix of XF54 and XF63 in a, in a mix of three to one. The other colour is a mix of XF24 and XF27 in the ratio one to three for those colours. Now they don't tell you which RLM colour they're supposed to represent. As you know, if I've waffled on about it, I'm colour blind. So it's a bit of a problem for me. Um, so originally I've got the, let me just get it out of the drawer. I've got this um, set from Vallejo, uh, Air War colour series, their model air paints, I believe. And uh, so I've used the RLM 76, then I'll put on the RLM 74, and I kind of made the pattern and I left the primer showing underneath on these patches here. Um, this is where the problems for me began. When I started spraying the other colour, being colour blind, the tones, I don't know how to describe colour blindness. Um, to somebody who isn't colour blind. Uh, I mean, I can look at a, a post box here in the UK, they're bright red and it is red to me. But another shade of red can be green or brown. Um, anyway, when I came to spray the two colours, they, to me, while I was spraying, I couldn't differentiate the colours. So let me show you here. So here at the top on this one, this is RLM 74 by Vallejo. The one below is RLM 75. Now I can see the difference there, but perhaps because it's smaller, maybe they get darker as they dry. But basically I messed stuffed all the camo up. I couldn't see it. Now I appreciate you guys also looking under an artificial light. So hang on, let me just turn that off because the sun is out, although it's been pouring with rain today. Um, summer's definitely ended. So you can see the difference between the 74 and the 75, but for some reason I couldn't see enough difference. In fact I asked, went and asked my son if they were different and he said well they are. He said but uh, they're different. So came up with that stub stumbling block that I couldn't actually see the difference in the colours. Good enough for me. I mean 74 is what, um, I'll come to that in a minute. So you can probably see some colours on the other side. I decided I'd invest in one of these AK real colour paint sets. This is for Luftwaffe fighter colours 1941 to 1944. You've got RLM 74, 75 and 76 version 1 and 76 version 2. When the two different versions of RLM 76 were used I have absolutely no idea. But you can see that there's a distinct difference even on the box. So I decided as you can see I've set up this little test spray today. So on this side we've got the AK Real Colour RLM 74 and the RLM Real Colour 75. So this is RLM 75 and this is RLM 75. <laughs> Which one's right? I mean there's even a difference between the 74 and the 74, two 74s. Um, to my eyes, 
being color blind and what I can I've seen on other people's models on the internet these colors are much truer to what other people have used to my eyes as I say and you've got to allow for color on TVs color on the cameras getting distorted uh, but these two I mean goodness me they're chalk and cheese they really are compared to these colors and these are supposed to be you know genuine Luftwaffe colors I always thought Vallejo's were quite good paints but I don't, I'm not so sure now guys, I really am not. Um, the real colours, yeah, they're the sort of lacquer based acrylics. They spray absolutely superbly. For the test I tried to get them both all to the same consistency, so I put a few drops of Mr. Colour Leveling Thinner in and for the real colours and then for the Vallejo colours I just used Ultimate Products airbrush thinner which I find is pretty good works with all acrylics well, I don't know if it would work with the other one but I kept the test like that and I, I thinned them out um, you can see there's a bit of bleed under there because I think actually I diluted the layer colours a bit too much and I'm trying to hurry this before I have to go out just to get this little video out sorry let me zoom you out a bit more and maybe you'll see a little bit more of this in one go so anyway I'm now going I have now resprayed the upper wings with the AK real colour and it really does spray really really well. Um, I noticed when I was using the acrylics I was getting a bit of spitting and whatnot but not with these. These went on so well. And from these are a bit smelly for use in the house so at some point when I really get my backside in gear I'm going to move all this into another my modelling bench out of the living room into a spare room and get a, a vent um, extractor unit and then I'll I think I'm going to slowly turn over to these but uh, yeah and the other color thing I've got a problem with is I also recently got the Edouard P51D Chattanooga Choo Choo kit and I was thinking of that, just doing a little bit of um, uh, starting building it no I shouldn't um, but I didn't have an interior green so I was rummaging around and I found Vallejo Model Air interior green According to their paint chart, this isn't FS34151. Um, that is called something like US Light Green or something. So, is this the right colour for interior? Or is it the proper FS34151 paint, which I don't have at the moment? Is this for RAF interior green? I don't know. It's called interior green. I'm at a loss. Um, what else have I been working on? The Hunter. I have been driving myself mad putting all the little stencil decals on us. You can see some on the wing there. I think there's nearly 200 to put on on that aircraft. Um, yeah, so I finally finished them yesterday. It's now awaiting another varnish coat. Either gloss, probably gloss, because I want to put some panel wash on um, to finish that off. I've got to do a little bit more paint work on it, and the silver's rubbed off on the bottom in a couple of places. So I've got to touch that up. Otherwise, that's slowly coming together. Again, these were painted with uh, Vallejo paints, I think. I really find, I mean, colours are a bit of a minefield anyway, but um, try being colour blind and doing it as well. You've got no idea. You know, people say, oh, mix this paint up, and you think you're so good that you've got good colour vision. Try being colour blind and doing it. Anyway, guys, so that's a bit of a rant over, but um, if you want, I haven't got many subscribers, but let, you, let me know your thoughts on on colours. I mean, I think, personally, models are a bit too anal of colours. Different batches must have come up, different color, different shades, whether in statement it's toll and whatnot. As I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I went with a friend to Didcot Railway Centre in um, Berkshire one day, and have, it's all Great Western Railway locomotives. And my friend was saying he never thought that any of the model paints were the right shade of Brunswick Green for these GWR locos. So they had a line up and we had to go up onto the old coaling stage so we were a little bit further away from the locos looking down on them. I said look they're all diff three different shades of the same green and I think my friend finally realised that there isn't an exact colour but uh, they weather. The, the, the newest loco which had just come out um, was quite a, a dark version of the green and one of them was really quite light. So it just affects, I guess it was effects of UV light on the locos. But they're all, they're all different anyway. Anyway guys, 
Happy modeling.